Hey there, this is Valderum. Today I want to talk about aminoglycosides, specifically gentamicin, a type of antibiotic. Now gentamicin is bactericidal, meaning it kills the bacteria. It does this by disrupting the cell protein synthesis, and it targets gram-negative bacilli, so that's stuff like Pseudomonas aeruginosa, E. coli, and Klebicella. Gentamicin usually comes in its own pre-made IP solution, but sometimes it comes in a dry powder and you gotta reconstitute it. When it comes to toxicity, be aware that gentamicin isn't metabolized in the body. It's eliminated exclusively by the kidneys. So if you have kidney disease, you have to adjust the dose or the interval at which you're giving it at. Adverse effects include autotoxicity, which is damage to the ears. This happens when you have a high trough, so you get hearing damage, a disturbed balance, and a symptom you experience that shows you're experiencing autotoxicity is tinnitus. Damage to the ear caused by this drug is irreversible. Gentamicin also causes nephrotoxicity, which is damage to the kidneys. This happens when you have a high trough, so what you want to do is monitor the serum creatinine and the blood urea nitrogen. If you suspect toxicity, calcium gluconate is your antidote, and it will prevent further damage. A lot of times people get more than one antibiotic. If penicillins are prescribed alongside aminoglycosides, don't mix them in the same bag. The penicillins will inactivate the aminoglycoside. Gentamicin requires a peak and a trough be done. A peak is when the drug level in the blood is supposed to be at its highest. So they'll test this 30 minutes after the IV bag finishes or after the intramuscular injection. A trough is when the blood concentration of the drug should be at its lowest. So this should be done pretty much right before you get your next dose. If you're just getting one daily dose of this drug a day, then it'll be one hour before the next dose is due. If you get multiple divided doses, it's just before the next dose. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment on whatever you'd like to see done next.